and welcome back to Pure Nebraska. On Mondays here on the program, we like to put the farm organization called the Alliance for the Future of Agriculture in Nebraska, or AFAN, in the spotlight. Today, AFAN is connecting us with the Field Services Manager for the Nebraska Soybean Board, and we're going to talk about what's happening, and so we're going to join, be joined here now by R.J. Campbell. Thank you for being here today, R.J. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, so we want to talk about field management days. Yes. What is that exactly? Yeah, that's a good, exciting time of the year. That's the time when UNL Extension and the Nebraska Soybean Board come together in partnership to really uh, uh, go around the state for different locations and show farmers, uh, approximately about 100 of them in each site, uh, you know, what uh, studies have been replicated at UNL, how we can help them, uh, you know, get a price uh, that uh, is good for their yield and uh, kind of keeps them above uh, the top line. Yeah, and I know we have some pictures and some video to go along with our interview here, but we want to talk about, again, a little bit more about what farmers are really going to learn at the management days. This is really an opportunity to maybe improve their yields down yeah, the road. Yeah, well, we've, we've got good yields in Nebraska, but uh, as many people know, the commodity prices are up and down. The economy is, uh, you know, kind of at a lower stage right now. Mm -hmm. So right now we're going to take a step back this year. We're going to talk about maybe conventional beans. We're going to talk about soil management on how better uh, they can uh, manage their soil uh, throughout the year and then uh, we're going to bring in some experts uh, from uh, Farm Bureau Services to really talk about the economics on how to keep your farm alive uh, maybe whittle backs on some things uh, maybe look at some other uh, options uh, to keep your farm operational okay and so you're going to be going to quite a few different places across the state for this correct Okay, and so maybe talk about the dates and what's going to be happening. Yeah, I'll use my little cheat sheet here, but uh, <laughs> August 9th, uh, yeah, we'll be down in Orchard. We usually start from west and go east back towards Lincoln. Uh, August 10th, uh, we'll be in Chapman, which is uh, right over there by Central City. And uh, August 11th, uh, you know, we'll be, uh, let's see, over by Cordova, which I believe is just west of here in Lincoln. And then August 12th, uh, we'll wrap up in Schuyler. So uh, there's going to be big tents out there. Uh, this is completely complimentary, free lunch. Um, but a wealth of information uh, at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And it just is a really kind of an interesting opportunity and we're seeing some pictures here now. Um, you actually probably have a field plot where farmers can actually go out and kind of see what's going on. Yeah, we contract with farmers early on or rather UNL Extension does and uh, these are the plots that are set up. I think you're looking at a nice drone view and uh, now a nice uh, field of beans, but we're going to get the farmers in those beans. We're going to show them firsthand uh, with UNL experts uh, on what they can look for as far as uh, insects uh, and, uh, you know, what they can apply to control that. Yeah, so if anybody wanted to know more about this, where would they go or how would they find out more? Yeah, yep. they, can, uh, they can either go to our website, uh, you know, Nebraska Soybean uh, uh, Org. Mm -hmm. or they can go to the UNL extension and uh, we have a lot of information up there on previous years and uh, kind of uh, all the topics that'll be this year. Uh -huh. Okay, RJ, thank you for coming in today. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much.